Hello and welcome to the new episode of Sports Talk with Abhishek Jha. Did you know what happened during the 2016 ICC World Cup? India defeated Bangladesh in a thrilling encounter by one run and then followed by West Indies defeated India in the semi-final contest and then comes the famous tweet of a famous Bangladesh cricket batsman Mushfiqur Rahim what he tweeted he tweeted ha 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 happiness is all about this India lost in the semi-final contest why I am telling you this because rivalry is there against Bangladesh too to whom we will start our campaign in the Asia Cup Super 4 round of matches later today at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. It is going to be a nail-biting contest. Let's talk about the record between the two teams in one day cricket. Both the teams have played 33 one day matches in which Indian team so far has managed to win 27 matches. Only 5 matches won by the Bangladesh cricket team. And if I will talk about the neutral venue, only one match won by Bangladesh cricket team in a neutral venue when they beat in India in the famous 2007 ICC World Cup at Port of Spain. But uh, apart from that, if I will talk about the last 3-4 years uh, of record since from 2015, they were not able to beat across any format of the game to the Indian team. They have played 9 matches in which 6 matches they played in the T20 format, 2 matches they played in the one day format and 1 match they played yeah, as a test match and they were beaten in all the matches. But you know that cricket is all about unpredictability and any team can beat anyone the way they perform against Sri Lanka when they were struggling in the tournament opener and then comes the mesmerizing inning from the bat of uh, what you can say Mushfiqur Rahim and uh, Mohammad Mithun both played outstanding innings somehow Bangladesh cricket team able to manage a 261 run this is that is a quite a big number against the Sri Lankan batting lineup and then they beat Sri Lanka by the margin of more than 100 runs that is quite a big number and uh, against Afghanistan right uh, you can say that Bangladesh were beaten very easily but the way they, they the, the fighting spirit that Bangladesh cricket team is having that's make them a really a good cricketing team but against Indian team how far they will fight that's the biggest question mark because uh, the recently the Indian team the way they are performing are really looking a very good formidable side yes we lost the service of Hardik Pandya but uh, in place of Hardik Pandya we have uh, Deepak Cheher who can ball fast who can bat uh, a bit also so it's a, he's a good replacement but uh, what about Indian team uh, what what will be the playing 11 of uh, Indian team if I will talk about uh, it's going to be uh, what you can say, Rohit Sharma, the skipper, will open with Shikha Dhawan. At number three, we are having Ambati Raidu. At number four, uh, we are having the option of KL Rahul also. But the way um, Dinesh Karthik is playing, it's okay. And also, uh, I mean, uh, KL Rahul against England in one-day matches was not so good because uh, he scored zero and nine runs. So uh, that is not up to the mark. But Dinesh Karthik scored a very good uh, 30 against Pakistan. Uh, in last match then we are having MS Dhoni then Kedar Chadav is there and uh, I think Deepak Cheher will play in place of Hardik Pandya then uh, the two wrist spinner Yuzvendra Chehal and Kuldeep Yadav and then, then uh, the two frontline fast bowler that is uh, Jaspeet Bumrah and Bhumneshwar Kumar will play for India but uh, what about Rohit Sharma he he just loved Bangladesh cricket team because uh, the last five matches he played against the Bangladesh cricket team he scored two century and one half century. That is quite a big number for Rohit Sharma. But uh, there is some kind of uh, stat to which uh, Indian uh, cricket team should have to take care. Because uh, one of the fast bowler, left hand fast bowler of Bangladesh cricket team, that is, uh, uh, what, is, what, is what is his name? I'm just forgetting his name. Uh, Rahman. Yes, Rahman has already picked 13 wicket in four matches that is a quite a big number for a left-hander fast bowler against the Indian team and in if I will talk about the Indian team uh, they are having like Rohit Sharma is a right-hand batsman so Rahman used to deliver a very good in-swinger nipping back in-swinger to the 
a right-handed batsman and that's great lots of problems so we have to take care of Rahman also and then the batting lineup they are having a very formidable batting lineup Lichen Das is there uh, they are having the service of one of the best all-rounder Shakib Al Hassan then Mushfiqur Rahman is outstanding uh, they are having the player like uh, what you can say uh, Murtaza is a very fighting skipper so it's it is going to be one of the one of the very nail biting contest and in which I am saying that Indian team is going to win this match against Bangladesh cricket team there is also the the other match will played against Pakistan and Afghanistan that is going to be also a very very tough contest because Afghanistan the way they are performing in this tournament is phenomenal and they like this big stage tournaments and the way they are performing is rightly said phenomenal against Pakistan they are going to keep their best and it's not going to be a cakewalk for Pakistan either so India will definitely gonna win against Bangladesh that is what I I, I am thinking and rest of the world is also thinking signing off Abhishek Kumar Jha